LPT it is valuable to know when to stop arguing with other people and simply let them be wrong. Sometimes, certain people can't be convinced to change their opinion. Not everyone has the capability to be open-minded. Rather than debate a brick wall, sometimes it's best to let them be wrong. I believe that the moment the volume increases and their face begins to redden, that's about the right time to stop arguing. Lots of people don't want to be convinced. People believe what they want to believe. Doesn't matter what's right or wrong. You will be wrong plenty of times as well. Oftentimes they know they are wrong but will still fight. You or try to pivot to a different topic. This realization has helped me quite a bit. I am now much quicker to concede arguments I would have drawn out when I was younger. Just remember, sometimes it will be you who was wrong. Even though you were certain enough to argue your position, it happens to everyone. And if it doesn't ever happen to you, you're not taking enough risks. Believing in yourself is important even though sometimes you will be wrong. Go do what you believe in. Take risks. Get rewards. And defeats. Sometimes it's better to just not engage at all. Waste of time and energy only for you to get stressed out. Lol. Just say, okay and go about your day. When people start denying logic, reason, and reality in order to defend their claim or belief, then it's time to stop arguing. At work a couple months ago, a guy was complaining that Democrats are responsible for all of the economic downturns of the last 40 years. I asked him who he thought was president in 08. He said Obama. You just have to walk away from that. My dad always liked to say, only a fool argues with an idiot. I used to do this all the time. I love being right, and I still do, but I used to always correct people. When I was younger, one day my friend called me out on it, said that I always put him down. That stuck with me. Since then, I always think twice about whether or not it's worth correcting someone. Especially if it's harmless for them to continue believing the wrong thing and they were excited about it. It's usually best to let stupid be stupid. You'll never change their stupid minds. You know what pause I'd like to agree with you. But then we'd both be wrong. Then walk away highly effective. To add, if you're online, blocking someone doesn't mean you lost the argument. If someone isn't listening to you, it's fine to block them. With age I have learned this. And the other way around. If someone is sure that you are wrong, question yourself. Don't be a dick. It's possible that you are wrong. When this happens I do a slow blink. Turn my head slightly. Narrow my eyes and stop speaking for full effect. Vegans unite we know all too well. This is how we end up with a dying planet. Do I choose my father or the children I'll never have cause I wanted peace with my father? That's not a LPT. That's the way people who are wrong think they've won. Fuck that. I had this realization after having discussions with family about the COVID conspiracy. Their reply was basically there's nothing you can do to change my mind. It changed my mind on what's worth arguing about. I do this before speaking. I feel like I'm having to do this more and more these days. Or maybe I've just got nothing to say. It's better to be at peace than to be right. I just tell them I am going to tell you twice then wait for you to catch up. In a social setting, go to a different topic or different person to talk to. It's called, agree to disagree. I learned that you can't convince someone against their will. Now if only I could get them off the phone when I tell them we can't do anything. I sometimes have to tell myself, do not engage. I try to tell other people the same thing, but they rarely listen. The urge to prove someone wrong is too strong sometimes. It's a great sentiment to remember.
harder to feel out when it's your good friends. That is to say I don't mean it becomes harder to stop arguing with said friend. But it becomes harder to know when they are pushing themselves of exploding and taking it too far. Internally. After they show how ignorant they are and don't listen to anyone but their own voice. Agree with them and convo with someone else. True. I have a co-worker who can't seem to fathom the idea that he's wrong so whenever I say wheel that's an opinion and he acts like his opinion is fact I just stop paying attention. I saw a Facebook meme years ago that said fighting with an idiot is like playing chess with a pigeon. Regardless of the outcome, it's still going to strut around like it won and shit on the board. Paraphrasing but that's the gist anyway. One of the finest tips I've seen here. Well said. If people haven't reasoned themselves into a position, you can't re on them out. The super red flags for me are when they resort to conspiracy type shit or talk about how they heard it on talk radio. Especially when they're like there's a bigger picture here or they do this thing around elections and it will magically go back and to da it never happens. But you just keep dreaming. Pal. Show me a vetted source or actual data. What? You can't? Oh my how shocking. My son told me once. Dad. You can't win arguing with an idiot. They'll just drag you down to their level and win I don't know where he heard that from. But it is true. The problem starts when people's widespread incorrectness poses an actual existential threat to humanity in the long run. Then, we can't afford not to try to convince them. No matter how vain the hope of succeeding. See vaccines. Climate change. Guns. Healthcare. People's stances on these are literally resulting in avoidable deaths. Thus, I will never stop trying to reach people. Call me an optimist. But I have to believe it's worth it. This. It took me long time to understand this. Nowadays I don't correct anyone about things I know are wrong unless it's someone I care about and I don't want them to be wrong. Some random coworker tells me the earth is flat? Sure mate whatever. You don't have to always change others' opinion. First of all you might be wrong yourself. Second you can just agree to disagree like adults should do. Third you can take the other person's opinion and take your time to think about it later. Maybe you'll find something valuable in a different point of view. But it takes time. Hopefully the other person will do the same. Works on the internet. Does not work for group projects. You can't let them be wrong because you are virtually wrong with them. I started doing this a while ago. Just last week my brother told me you always do this. You just go silent when you can't argue. Frustrating bastard. The block button exists for a reason. People will definitely come at you and egg you on to argue with them and I'm like I don't give a fuck about entertaining you. Being correct rarely ever matters to anyone. They want to be right. Love them enough to let them go. I disagree. If you are right, you should fight till the end. Can't remember who said it but reminds me of the quote never argue with stupid people they pull you down to their level and beat you with experience. Some people need to experience failure to learn the lesson themselves. Usually because they are quite smart and are got most things right but not smart enough to appreciate good advice when given. I dealt with co-workers like this in the past and was one myself a long time ago. It's way easier to let people fail than help them standing back up than prevent them from failing. TBH. Yes and it prevents you from also looking wrong. Only a fool negotiates with a mule. Also, some people argue for the sake of arguing. Winning for them is to simply rile you up. So they may say and do a lot of dumb shit. Just to keep you hanging on. I hate vampires. It takes seven people to convince one person that something is good. But it only takes one person to convince seven people that something is bad. 